What is up, Light Fam? Welcome to another video. My name is David. Today we're going to be discussing the Hawaiian healing mantra known as Ho'oponopono. I know that that's a mouthful, but you will understand <laughs> as we get into the video. Uh, this is a technique that I learned uh, about 2010 from a gentleman by the name of Joe Vitale. So I will put his information in the description below. I'll link to one of his videos that uh, discusses this technique. But after 10 years of using it in every aspect of my life, I can definitely attest to the fact that it absolutely works. So let me show you guys how to use it as well. If you are new to the channel and this type of content resonates with you, please smash that notification bell so you don't miss the twice weekly spiritual tutorials that I post. Also remember to have a look around in the description box below. We do have some goodies for you. We've got that 30 minute guided meditation on abundance. Remember if you have Gmail, that meditation will most likely be under the promotions tab. You can also sign up for one-on-one -on -one coaching or request a personalized video addressing your specific spiritual stumbling blocks. Let's get into the video. So Ho'oponopono. <laughs> okay, so this is a technique that was used by a Hawaiian therapist. I want to say maybe back in the 50s. This therapist was assigned to help the inmates of a uh, mental asylum, violent uh, criminals. And he would not use the traditional hands-on methodologies that uh, traditional therapists would use. He would use this technique called Ho'oponopono. So Ho'oponopono is a mantra of four statements. I love you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. And thank you. So what he would do is he would not work with the inmate. He would read the chart of the inmate and he would read you know maybe how this inmate committed you know a violent uh, murder and those emotions that would well up within him those negative emotions he would clean those emotions by cleaning what I mean is he's going inside and he's energetically cleaning those emotions by saying and feeling I love you I'm sorry please forgive me thank you and what started to happen is these inmates started to heal, they started to recover, they started to be reformed, and eventually started getting released. And more and more prisoners started uh, getting released, and after four years, the mental asylum was shut down. So, what is actually going on here? These four phrases are energetically cleaning your perception and relationship with X. And X can literally be anything, uh, even inanimate objects. So obviously, you know, relationships and uh, situations, but uh, even inanimate objects, which I'll get into um, a little bit later. But science tells us that there is a theory called quantum entanglement. So that is the relationship between two things. Something happens over here, it happens to this one. And whatever you have a relationship with, there is an energetic link. So whenever you clean that energetic link, X over here behaves differently. So let's get into the energy surrounding these four statements. First of all, I love you. <laughs> you are calling in the highest frequency, the essence of the divine intelligence that runs through everything and keeps order in the universe. You're calling that higher frequency into a situation where the lower vibrational emotions may be dominant. So those emotions of fear and anger and regret and anxiety, that higher vibration of love is going to raise the vibration of those emotions raising the vibration of those emotions is healing, basically. The next statement is, I'm sorry. Saying I'm sorry is taking responsibility. Now, before the ego gets bent out of shape and, and says, well, why, why do I need to say I'm sorry? You don't know what they did. Why, I don't need to be sorry. Hang on. <laughs> 
When you take responsibility and you say, I'm sorry, you're energetically doing a 180. You're cutting the cord of that negative energy, which is keeping you and X in a state of resistance, and you're turning that around and putting the relationship between yourself and X in a state of accepting, a state of, rela of allowing, a state of receiving. And you don't need to go into why you should or shouldn't be sorry. Just saying I'm sorry actually works. I can tell you from experience, you don't need to get into the details. You simply say and feel I'm sorry. So in other words, don't be like, I'm sorry. <laughs> no, <laughs> you feel I'm sorry. And that's going to energetically clean the relationship between you and X. Next statement is, please forgive me. Now, the great thing about please forgive me is it takes the ego out of the equation. Um, anytime you're getting the ego out of the equation, healing is going to be a heck of a lot faster. <laughs> so again, you're energetically cleaning that negative energy between you and X and putting that energy into a state of allowing, a state of receiving. And then, of course, thank you. That's gratitude. That's an easy one right there. Again, gratitude is a higher vibrational frequency. It's right up there with love and happiness. You put that higher vibrational frequency onto the lower vibrational emotions of fear, anger, anxiety, regret, etc. And those, uh, the vibration of those emotions are going to raise and that is what healing is all about. And remember, anytime that you give gratitude for any situation, you are centering your mind in the present moment, which is where your peace and your power reside and you're getting your mind out of the regret of the past of that particular situation or the anxiety of the future of that particular situation. You retain your power, basically. Ho'oponopono can be used literally for everything and anything, not just your close relationships like a spouse or a lover or an ex. You can use Ho'oponopono to repair a relationship between yourself and a boss, a business partner, you can even heal entire situations like maybe a legal matter. Um, you don't even need to use Ho'oponopono on another person. You can use it on yourself. You can use Ho'oponopono to heal an injury or a sickness faster because remember the cells of your body have consciousness. Now I know that this sounds crazy. <laughs> But I am positive that after this video has been out a few weeks, you guys are going to start leaving a bunch of comments below on how this technique has changed your life. Now you can get very creative with Ho'oponopono. For example, you can use Ho'oponopono for shadow work. Remember in my video on shadow work, which you can watch right here, how to do shadow work. I mentioned that you could envision that five-year-old version of yourself in meditation sitting on your lap to do the healing. Well, this is a great spot to do Ho'oponopono on that inner child to help heal childhood trauma. So anytime that you're feeling anxiety, regret, fear, anger, frustration, you immediately want to think, I need to clean it, clean it clean it, clean it. That's what needs to go through your brain because as soon as you think I need to clean it, then you go within and you say and feel those four statements. I love you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Thank you. Now you're going to figure out how many repetitions work for you. I typically like to start with 15 repetitions and kind of use that as a little bit of a gauge that pretty much takes care of it. And you, you, know, you may need to do it uh, several days in a row, but once you get in the habit of remembering to clean something, it becomes part of your routine. And now you're walking in vibrational congruence with love, forgiveness, and gratitude. Ho'oponopono helps to heal triggers because it cleans the energy that you are projecting about X, that person, that situation, 
And quantum entanglement tells us that that person X, that situation, energetically feels that energy shift, vibrationally reacts to that energy shift, and on some level, vibrationally aligns with the perception that you are projecting about that particular relationship. Ho'oponopono can be used to heal your relationship with money. <laughs> it can be used to heal your limiting beliefs surrounding money. Um, I used the example earlier of uh, healing the relationship with your boss. So he or she will just start treating you completely different if you use Ho'oponopono on them. Because remember, everything that you're experiencing on the outside is just a reflection of some perception that you're carrying on the inside. So when you clean the perception of what you're carrying on the inside, that person, place, or thing will react in vibrational congruence with your inner perception. Now, question of the day. Are you going to try Ho'oponopono? And if so, will you please come back to this video and leave your results in the comments below. I promise you, once you start putting some feeling behind those four statements, I love you, I'm sorry, please forgive me, thank you, you will be amazed at the response that you experience from whatever you're trying to clean in the physical. If you liked the video, then please like the video. <laughs> If you want to see more videos on a spiritual awakening, 5D consciousness, moving from 3D to 5D consciousness, the Great Awakening, 2020, shadow work, we got it all for you here at Lightways. Go ahead and click the subscribe button. Also remember to add me over on Instagram, underscore Lightways. I do answer a lot of questions over there. Remember to have a look around in the description box below. We've got the free 30 minute guided meditation on abundance for you. You can also book a one-on-one -on -one coaching session or order a personalized video addressing your specific spirituality questions. Now, if you know anyone that is maybe going through a tough time, they're struggling with anxiety and fear and anger, any of those lower vibrational emotions and you feel that this technique, this healing mantra, Ho'oponopono, could have a positive impact on their life, then please share this video with them. And that is all for this video. I will see you guys in the next one. You know the drill. Light, love, and abundance to all that are watching and to all you love. Peace, guys.